Hello friends, uh, uh, here we will continue in this lecture we are going to continue the uh, previous uh, talk that is on uh, uh, green function. So, in uh, previous uh, lecture we have discussed this particular problem u double dash equal to phi of x where x is between 0 to 1 and u of 0 equal to 0 and u 1 equal to 0. So, we try to find out the solution u x in this integral form g xi x phi xi d xi and where g xi x is defined earlier. Now, we try to look at the more complicated uh, more complicated example. Here, if you look at we simply solved our green function by saying that g will satisfy this equation that l star g which is nothing but g xi 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 x equal to delta xi minus x and g 1 x equal to 0 equal to g of 0 of x. So, here we have find this g xi 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 x we simply integrated it and we have achieved g xi x as xi minus x h of xi minus x plus x minus 1. So, here uh, this is uh, quite easy because our operator is quite easy we simply integrated, but not now let us discuss a little bit little bit more complicated problem where this uh, integration is not so straight. So, let us consider the second problem here uh, we have seen u double dash plus 3 u dash plus 2 of u equal to 5 where u 1 is equal to 2 of u naught and u dash 1 is equal to a. So, in a previous problem we have considered the boundary condition which is uh, which are homogeneous boundary condition, but here we have considered a non homogeneous boundary condition and the first boundary condition is a mixed boundary condition that it involves both u 0 and u of n. And if you look at here this L is not given as self formally self adjoint if you look at your a is simply 1 and b is 3 and b is not given as a dash. So, it is not a self adjoint equation. So, to solve this we adopt the same method and we what we try to do is we define L as uh, L as uh, u double dash plus c u dash plus 2 of u. So, we multiply by uh, green function g and integrate between 0 to 1. So, if you do the same thing we have 0 to 1 g u double dash plus 3 u dash plus 2 of u d z and uh, as we did in a previous lecture we transfer the derivative of u double dash and u dash on this g and this is the process indicated here and at the end we are going to get this. Here I have utilized this uh, condition that u of 1 is equal to 2 of u naught. If we utilize the condition it is simplified as u of 0 uh, 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 within bracket 6 g 1 x minus 3 0 x minus 2 z xi 1 x plus z xi 0 x plus uh, a g 1 x minus z 0 x u, u dash 0 plus 0 to 1 u l star g t z. Now, if you follow the if you want to get uh, our um, solution then here we simply say that l star g is going to be delta xi minus x and we define z 0 x as 0. So, here we have write this 0 to 1 uh, g l u d xi is equal to u of 0 and within bracket we have 6 uh, g 1 x minus 3 g 0 x minus 2 g xi 1 x plus g xi 0 x plus a g 1 x minus z 0 x u dash 0 plus 0 to 1 u l star 
g dz. So here to get our solution, we assume that u uh, this L star g is going to be delta xi minus x and the condition on this uh, g boundary condition is g of 0 x is equal to 0. So, that this term is simply vanish and we assume that this condition since u 0 is not given. So, we assume that 6 g 1 comma x minus 3. So, this term is already vanished. So, here we can write it uh, minus 2 g xi 1 comma x plus g xi 0 x is equal to 0. So, we try to find out our green function which satisfy this condition that L star g is equal to delta xi minus x and z 0 x is equal to 0 and this is equal to 0. So, if we assume this, this term is gone, this term is gone and you can write it here 0 to 1 g l u is given as phi d xi is equal to uh, a g 1 x plus 0 to 1 u l star g, but if you take l star g as delta g minus x then this is going to be u of x. So, your u x is given as minus a g 1 x plus 0 to 1 g phi d z. So, we need to calculate this uh, g. So, we have seen that if uh, our green function satisfy this property that L star g which is defined as g xi xi minus 3 g xi plus 2 g equal to delta xi minus x along with the condition g 0 x equal to 0 and 6 g 1 x minus 2 g xi 1 x plus g xi 0 x equal to 0. Then uh, the previous this is going to be u of x and it is equal to minus of a g 1 x plus 0 to 1 g l u d phi d xi which is given as u of x equal to minus a g 1 x plus 0 to 1 g xi x phi xi d xi. But if you look at here this g uh, which is uh, solution of this uh, differential equation is not easy to solve because it is not uh, done by direct integration. So, here we use the property of Dirac delta function that delta xi minus x is 0 for all xi not equal to x. So, what we try to do is we uh, uh, split our interval into two part one is between uh, uh, zero, uh, 0 and x and between x to 1. So, in each interval your delta xi minus x is uh, uh, equal to 0. So, we can say that g is going to be a solution of this homogeneous equation L star g equal to 0. So, it means that we can get the solution, we can get the expression of g by solving L star g equal to 0. And if you look at your g star is a simple ordinary linear ordinary differential equation with constant coefficient. So, we can easily find out the solution and it can be written as that the general solution of this problem is get, uh, given as constant times of e to power xi plus uh, constant times of e to power 2 xi. So, we can write g as z xi x is a e to power xi plus b e to power 2 xi between 0 to x and between uh, x to 1 it is another constant c e to power xi plus d e to power 2 xi. Now, we can find out uh, these constant a, b, c and d with the help of boundary condition we have received. So, boundary condition is what boundary condition we have assumed that g of 0 x equal to 0 and this is the boundary condition. So, we if we apply these two boundary condition we can have this relation that a of a plus b equal to 0 and a plus 2 b plus 4 e to power 4 e c plus 2 e e square d equal to 0. Now, along with this we have uh, two matching condition also which uh, is uh, which we can obtain by the problem itself that L star uh, g equal to delta x uh, xi minus x. So, to get that matching condition what we try to do we simply integrate uh, the L star g equal to delta xi minus x from x minus 0 to x plus 0. So, which is nothing but integration of x minus uh, integration of this term from x minus 0 to x plus 0. 
So here using the filtering property we have one here and this we can integrate. So I can have GSI evaluating at minus x minus 2 x plus and so on. Now here so far our g is completely arbitrary but uh, to simplify our calculation what we can assume if we assume that g is g xi x is a continuous function of xi at xi equal to x then this second term and the third term is going to vanish and we have one term left that is g xi uh, from x minus to x plus is equal to 1. So here we simply say that this is a jump condition on the slope. So here with this these assumptions we can say that we our g is continuous at xi equal to x. So we have this condition that a plus b e to power x minus c minus d e to power x equal to 0. This is done by the uh, using the continuity of uh, g at xi equal to x and the jump condition at uh, of g xi from minus x minus to x plus we have this last condition minus a e to power x minus 2 b e to power 2 x plus c e to power x plus 2 d e to power 2 x equal to 1. So now we have 4 conditions this uh, 25 and 26 that a plus b equal to 0 and a plus 2 b plus 4 e c plus 2 e square d equal to 0 and 2 condition which we have obtained by assuming that g is continuous and g has a jump discontinuity of, at the first order derivative. So, if you use all these conditions, we can find out A, B, C and D and we can write down our solution as G xi x equal to this expression. Now here uh, we may observe that this G xi x is not symmetric, but this is uh, quite uh, clear because the uh, initial operator L is not a self adjoint operator. So this symmetricity will come when we have. Uh, uh, L as self adjoint operator. So, in case of self adjoint operator, our green function is coming out to be asymmetric <coughs> green function. Okay. So, now let us uh, generalize this uh, concept of uh, constructing the green function to a general nth order linear differential equation. So, for this, let us consider uh, a nth order linear differential equation defined as L y operating uh, L y defined as this p naught x y to power, uh, y n plus p 1 x y n minus 1 and so on. Here we have assumed that all the coefficients p naught x p 1 x p n uh, x all are continuous on this closed interval a b and additionally we assume that p naught x is non zero in this interval a to b and boundary conditions are uh, here we have assumed that these are mixed boundary condition this is the general most uh, boundary condition we have assumed. So v k y is the boundary condition this is the uh, n boundary condition given k from 1 to n. So here this alpha k y a plus alpha 1 k y dash a and so on these are the boundary conditions defined at the uh, starting point that is a and beta k y b plus beta 1 k y dash b and uh, beta n minus 1 k y n minus b these are the boundary condition given at the point p and this is given as 0. And here also we assume that all these uh, boundary conditions are linearly independent. So for this we uh, construct our green function uh, satisfying these following condition. So first condition is that z x i is continuous and its n minus 2th derivative is also continuous in this interval a to b right. So and its n minus 1th derivative has a jump discontinuity of order 1 by p naught psi. And third condition is that this uh, green function satisfy the uh, linear differential operator that is LG. So it means that G is a solution uh, of linear differential operator LG equal to 0 when xi is not equal to x. So it means that in each interval A to xi and xi to B, L, uh, G is a solution of this operator L. So LG is equal to 0 when a, uh, interval is A to xi and xi to B. And last condition is that G satisfy the boundary condition given as this uh, given by this vky equal to this. So here we have a theorem 
we say that if the boundary value problem, uh, this boundary value problem which we have defined here by 33 this is a differential equation and 34 is the boundary condition. This if this problem have only a trivial solution then the operator L has one and only one green function g x i. So, that we are going to define. So, uh, starting let us start the proof of this. So, here we assume that let uh, y 1 x y 2 x y n x are n linearly independent solution of equation L y equal to 0. Then uh, as suggested that uh, we can write down g x i as uh, the summation i equal to 1 to n a, a i y i x for a uh, a is i close interval a open xi and g x i as linear combination of these solutions in xi b because we all already known uh, we already know that g is going to be a solution of the operator l uh, in this particular interval so it means that g can be written as linear combination of these n solution y1 to yn so that's why g x i is written as linear combination of y1 to yn Sim, uh, in this interval and similarly here g x i as linear combination of these solutions in this i b. We need to find out our a i and b i so that this will actually serve, serve the purpose. So, now here we apply the condition that g x i is continuous and its derivative up to order n minus 2 is continuous. If you look at the first uh, condition simply says that g x i has a continuity at x equal to xi and this till here we have assumed that n minus 2 at derivative of g has a uh, uh, continuity at x equal to xi. So, if you look at here, so here uh, we have assumed that g x xi is equal to summation a i y i x and i equal to 1 to n between x is between your a to xi and g x xi is equal to summation i equal to 1 to n b i y i x between x is lying between xi to b here. So, this we can this we have achieved by saying that L of g is equal to 0 for uh, x not equal to xi right. Now, uh, if you use the condition that that g x xi is continuous at x equal to xi it means that they should match as x equal to xi. So, right hand limit is equal to left hand limit. So, we can write it summation b i y i x is equal to summation a i y i x at x equal to xi. Similarly, we g dash x i is also continuous at x equal to xi and so on up to n minus 2 a derivative of this. So, n minus 2 a derivative of g is also continuous at x equal to psi. So, this implies that summation b i y n minus 2 x at x equal to psi is equal to summation a i y i n minus 2 derivative of x at x equal to psi. So, is same here ok. Then last condition is that it has a jump uh, discontinuity of order uh, of magnitude 1 upon uh, p naught xi here it is uh, x xi at x equal to xi plus minus g n minus 1 at derivative of x xi evaluated as x equal to xi minus is equal to 1 upon p naught so, if you use this then uh, we have one more condition written as this. So, here we can write down this condition that summation b i y i n minus 1 uh, 
x minus summation a i y i n minus 1 x is equal to 1 upon p naught as i right. So, here we have one condition and here we have these many conditions. So, all these condition we can write it in this particular form and look at here, here we have all such condition. So, first these till here we have assumed that g has uh, con uh, continuity up to order n minus 2 derivative and this last represent the that n minus 1 and derivative of g has uh, jump of size 1 upon p naught j. So, here this can be made simplify by writing b i minus c i uh, b i minus c i as some other variable that is c i. So, here we assume that your c k z i equal to b k z i minus a k z i and if we assume this then this can be written in a this simpler form ok. Now, what we try to uh, have is that we try to find out all these constant a i and b i. So, first what we try to do is we first find out this c i and with the help of c i we try to find out both b i and c i. So, if you look at this uh, represent uh, uh, linear differential equation a x equal to b. So, if you look at uh, equation system of equation given as 38. So, here we can write it like this. So, here we have c 1 uh, y 1 xi plus c 2 y 2 xi plus c 3 y 3 c 3 y 3 xi and so on c n y n xi is equal to 0 and second equation is c 1 y 1 dash xi plus so on plus c n y n dash xi equal to 0 and so on last one is uh, c 1 y 1 n minus 1 and derivative evaluated at xi and it is written as c n y n minus 1 and derivative at x equal to xi equal to 1 upon p naught xi. So, this I can write it as uh, a equal a into this is your c 1 to c n equal to this 0 0 up to 1 upon p naught xi, where this a is given as this uh, y 1 xi, y 2 xi and y n xi and y 1 dash xi, y 2 dash xi and y n dash xi and so on. Last one is y 1 n minus 1 at xi, y 2 n minus 1 xi and so on. And if you remember that this is nothing but the Ronskian of y 1, y 2 and so on up y n evaluated at xi. Now, here uh, since we in the beginning itself we have assumed that y 1 to y n are all linearly independent solution. So, this means that this determinant of this co uh, coefficient matrix A is going to be uh, non zero uh, going to be 0. So, it means that this implies that this will have a unique solution. So, I can get our solution c 1 to c n by saying A inverse operating on 0, 0 and so on. So, it means that with the help of these conditions we can actually find out the solution for this c 1 to c n. But uh, we want to find out a 1 to a n and b 1 to b n not c 1 to c n. So, what we do is we need to find out our coefficient a i and b i with the help of c i. For this we assume here that uh, we know that this v k y can be written as a k y plus b k y where we have separated 
the boundary condition at A and uh, B. So, this A k y represent the boundary condition given at the end point A and B k y represent the boundary uh, condition given at the point B. So, we already know that green function is going to satisfy the uh, uh, boundary conditions. So, here v, v k g is equal to 0. So, if we simplify I can write this V k g as a 1 a k y 1 plus a 2 a k y 2 and so on plus b 1 b k y 1 plus b 2 b k y 2 and this thing and this is going to be 0. So, here if you uh, look at this here we have this a 1 a k y 1 plus a 2 a k y 2 and so on a n uh, a k y n is equal to uh, sorry plus plus b 1 uh, uh, b k y 1 and so on b n b k uh, y n is equal to 0. So, what we know here that I can write a k a a i as c i minus b i ok. No c i we have assumed here c i as your b i minus a i. So, I can write it here your a i as b i minus c i. So, if we use this then I can write it here b i minus c i a k y 1 plus sorry this is uh, I am writing for a 1. So, it is b 1 minus c 1 ok. So, it is b 1 minus c 1 a k y 1 plus b 2 minus c 2 a k y 2 and so on it is uh, b n minus c n uh, this a k y n plus b 1 b k y 1 and so on. Now, here if we look at this I can simplify here as b 1 and I can write it here a k y 1 plus uh, uh, b k a, this is your a k y 1 and I can write it here b k y 1. So, I can write b 1 as b 1 a k y 1 plus b k y 1. Similarly, coefficient of b 2 I can write it here a k y 2 and I can write, write here the b k y 2 and so on till b n equal b n coefficient of b n as a k y n plus uh, b k y n is equal to. So, this we are going to other side. So, it is c 1 a k y 1 and till c n a k y n. Okay. Now, this is what this a k y 1 plus b k y 1 we have assumed that this is nothing but your v k y 1. So, here v k y is defined as a k y plus b k y. So, v k y is defined as a k y plus b k y. So, I can say that v k y i is defined as a k y i and b k y i. So, I can write this as uh, this relation that b 1 v k y 1 plus b 2 v k y 2 and so on. Now, if you look at here this is again uh, forming a uh, linear differential equation in terms of b 1 to b n. Right, and coefficient matrix is what? Coefficient matrix is given as v. Uh, let me write it here. So here I'm just writing here. So here this is what? This is uh, b1 uh, v k y1 plus uh, b2 v k y2 and so on. Bn v k 
y n is equal to your c 1 a k y 1 and so on c n a k y n. So, if we and here k is from 1 to n. So, if we write it for each one I can write it this as v 1 y 1 plus uh, v k uh, sorry v 1 y 1 I am writing for uh, the same equation for k equal to 1. So, it is v 1 y 1 v 2 y 2 and so on v 1 y n. So, this is v 1 here. So, for k equal to 1. I am writing it in a system of linear equation format. So, here first row is v 1 y 1 v 1 y 2 and so on second is v 2 y 1 v 2 y 2 and v 2 y n and last is v n y 1 v n y 2 and v n y n and here your a 1 y 1 to a 1 y n and here it is under dash here we have a n y 1 to a n y n. Now, uh, we already assumed here that these v k y 1 all these linear forms are linearly independent. So, it means that this det coefficient matrix has non-zero determinant. So, if it has a non-zero determinant then we can find out a unique solution by inverting this coefficient matrix here. So, it means we can find out say unique solution for these coefficient b 1 to b n. So, with this system of linear equation we can find out b i we can calculate this and we already know what is c i for i equal to 1 2 no. So, it means that once we know b i and c i you can already get a i as uh, uh, b i minus a i is equal to c i. So, we know c i we know b i. So, we can get our a i as b i minus c i and hence our uh, green function is known uh, for this particular problem. So, we can get all coefficient with all these conditions right. So, now next is uh, that if this boundary value problem is uh, self adjoint then your green function is going to be symmetric and it is uh, converse is also true. And here it may happen that the highest order coefficient of highest order derivative is going to vanish at say one of the end point say a or b. In that particular case uh, we will assume one natural condition that your solution is going to be bounded at that particular end. For example, if I assume that p naught a is 0, then we assume that our solution is going to be bounded at x equal to a. So, what we have done here in this particular lecture, we have uh, generalized the concept of uh, construction of green function for nth order uh, uh, linear differential equation. So, thanks for listening us.